All right, so we are going to be starting a playlist, and this is going to be a series where we use the rule of threes to determine if these survival situation items are really good, okay? And so for those of you that have been watching the channel, you know that one of my favorite things to do is when somebody says you need whatever for a survival situation, I like to find a survival situation that makes them wrong, <laughs> okay? It's just a little game that I play. And for an example, a lot of people will say in a survival situation, you need a big knife because a big knife can do everything a little knife can do, but a little knife cannot do everything a big knife can. And so the situation that comes to mind is drowning. Drowning is a survival situation and having a big heavy knife on your side is going to make that situation a lot more difficult, not easier. Right? Having a little tiny pocket knife is going to be better than a big huge machete or a big heavy knife on your side. Or another really popular one is in a survival situation you have to have fire. Like you need fire in a survival situation. Well what if you're locked in a closet? Right? That's a survival situation. Like if you're locked in a closet and somebody shoved you in a closet and locked it. If you start a fire you're either going to burn alive or the fire is going to suck all the oxygen out of that room and you're going to suffocate. It's going to make that situation a lot harder, not easier. You know what I'm saying? So I'm constantly thinking of ways to making everyone wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm kind of a troll that way. I don't leave comments about it. I don't. It's just a game that I play to myself. But it got me thinking on what items actually are useful in the most situations. And so what I do when I think about how to prove people wrong is I use the rule of threes. And for those of you that don't know what the rule of threes are, it's a basic guideline that we use to determine what our priorities are, what we need in any given situation. And so typically on average, a person can live three minutes without air, three hours exposed to the weather, three days without water, three weeks without food. And so that helps us kind of prioritize because you hear all the time people get lost or people end up in these situations and they get so hung up on food, right? We need food, we need food, we need food. And because they're so focused on trying to get food, they end up dying of dehydration, they end up with heat stroke or hypothermia because they're exposed to the weather. And so by using the rule of threes, it helps us determine what our basic needs are in any given moment. I would much rather go three days without food than three days without water. I would much rather go a few hours without water than a few hours exposed to the elements, right? And so depending on what's happening, depending on our situation, we can determine what our best plan is using those rules of three. The other three is your three basic necessities to survive which is food, water, and shelter. And so I'm going to go through, I'm gonna make a dedicated video for knives, water filters, uh, uh, headlamps and flashlights, uh, canteens and water bottles, tents, tarps, dedicated videos to all this gear that we usually carry to help us in a survival situation. And we're going to use that same principle to not only to determine what our basic needs are, but we're going to also prioritize the gear and what gear is most important. What gear should we keep the most accessible? What gear should we always make sure to have? And so if this is something that you're interested in, make sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know that you like it. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss one of the episodes. And I can't wait to see you on my next video.